Phlebotomists, the medical technicians who take blood samples, are getting some competition. Meet VBOT, a medical robot that draws blood. Would you be willing to trust your arm to a robot with a sharp needle? A startup company in Miami, Florida is betting that you would. This is a prototype of the VBOT, the first robot phlebotomist. It uses infrared light and image analysis to find the right vein, ultrasound to confirm the blood flow in the vein, and robotics to insert a needle into it. After the patient puts his arm through the archway, an infrared light illuminates his inner elbow for a camera. Software matches what the camera sees against a model built from thousands of vein images looking for a suitable vein. Once the VBOT system selects a target vein, it turns to ultrasound to confirm that the selected vein has sufficient blood flow for a successful blood draw. The robot then aligns the needle and sticks it in. The whole process takes about a minute. But what makes VBOT better than a human technician? It still needs a human to start the process, and the idea of a robot drawing blood may be too creepy for some patients. But if you've ever gotten blood drawn and had the technician fail to stick a useful vein the first time, a robot that gets it right every time may be appealing. Mistakes are painful. They also waste time, and time is money in a busy hospital. Currently, VBOT's machine can correctly identify the best vein to target about 83% of the time. That's about as good as an experienced technician. Company founder Stuart Harris plans to work the accuracy up to about 90% before starting clinical trials later this year. Harris will have to conquer the creepy factor, but the effort is worth it. In the United States alone, there are a billion blood draws a year. That's a potential $9 billion market for robot phlebotomy. For IEEE Spectrum, I'm Tecla Perry.